thinking about moving to Jacksonville, North Carolina? These are the top three cities in the area you want to check out. Hey y'all, it's Kelly Salter and welcome to another episode of Covering Coastal Carolina where we talk about what it's like to live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe. In this video, we're going to go over three areas that you may want to check out if you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, North Carolina. The first city you need to check out is Swansboro, North Carolina. Swansboro is located in between Emerald Isle and Hubert, just north of the Jacksonville area. One reason that people love living in Swansboro is because of its quaint, small town feel. Swansboro is an adorable town with so many historic buildings and homes, and it's about 20 minutes from Jacksonville, and it's a perfect getaway from the hustle and bustle of the city. The area is also known for its tourist attractions like the Riverview Park and the Bicentennial Park. The Bicentennial Park has a spot for fishing, and both are the perfect place to hang out for lunch and enjoy nature. And guess what? Dogs are welcome too, so you can bring your furry friends. The average three-bedroom single-family home in Swansboro is roughly $300,000 depending on how close you are to the water. A two-bedroom home in Swansboro is roughly $210,000, and those will most likely be two-bedroom townhomes. Now, if you're looking to rent in the Swansboro area, you can plan on spending at least $1,600 a month for a three bedroom single family home in Swansboro. A two bedroom unit in the same area will run you at least $900 a month. The second city you need to check out is Sneeds Ferry. Sneeds Ferry is located just south of Jacksonville and north of the Hampstead Wilmington area. This city is quickly growing, and with that, house prices are growing as well. One of the reasons that people love living in Sneeds Ferry is because of its proximity to the ocean, but it's also really convenient to the larger cities. Choosing to live in Sneeds Ferry allows you more work opportunities because you'll have the option to work in Wilmington or in Jacksonville, and the commute times are very similar. This area is known for being extremely close to the ocean just over the Topsail Bridge and you'll be on the island. It's one of the most popular beaches on the East Coast. The average three bedroom single family home in Sneeds Ferry is about $275,000. If you're looking to rent in the Sneeds Ferry area, a three bedroom single family home is going to run you at least $1,800 a month. The third city that you need to check out is Richland. Richlands is located near Southwest Jacksonville and is another flourishing city that is becoming a great popular place to settle down. One of the reasons that people like living in Richlands is because it's a little more rural. You've got some neighborhoods that don't necessarily have HOAs and you've got more land, more places to spread out. Yet it's an easy commute to base into the cities and really close to the airport. The Richlands Beulahville area is known for its small town attractions. Notably, Mike's Farm is very popular for the locals all over Onslow County and really all over North Carolina. Mike's Farm is a southern style restaurant with a gift shop and an artisan market where local artists come together to sell their goods. And the food is to die for. It is on a real farm, like an honest to goodness real farm. They grow strawberries and they grow corn and the cream corn comes right off the stock right there at the farm. It's just mine. So if you're ever in the area and you need a really great place to eat or you've got people coming into town for say Christmas for the hayride, Mike's Farm is an absolute do not miss. Another cool activity is visiting the Onslow County Museum. You can spend an afternoon at the museum soaking up all the rich history of Onslow County over the years and view some pretty interesting exhibits and artifacts. The average three bedroom single family home in Richlands is about $175,000. A two bedroom home in Richlands is gonna run you about $140,000, $150,000 and those options are most likely gonna be townhomes. Now, if you're looking to rent in the Richlands area, Sometimes you can luck up and get one in the 800 to 1000 range. The high end would be about 1800 a month. I hope this video gave you some insight on three great cities surrounding Jacksonville, North Carolina that are growing in popularity. And don't forget to subscribe above for more information on Jacksonville, North Carolina. Check out some of our other videos or visit our website at anchorrealestateinc.com. Thanks for watching. 
I'm Kelly Salter with Anchor Real Estate, and as always, if we can help you move in, move up, move out, or move on, let us know. We're always here to help.